Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at finding the angle between two planes or de really we're determining whether or not the two planes are parallel, orthogonal, or neither. So the planes could be parallel, i.e. they have somewhat like the same orientation for our planes. And we want to know, basically the strategy I'm going to teach you is to just find the angle between the planes and then that's going to tell you whether or not they're parallel, orthogonal, or neither. You don't have to do the cross product, you don't have to do the dot product to figure this out. You can just go ahead and find the angle between the planes and that'll tell you whether or not they're parallel, orthogonal, or neither. If your angle between your vectors is zero or pi, then your angles are parallel. Either they point exactly in the same direction, your vectors, sorry, your vectors either point exactly in the same direction or they point exactly in the opposite direction. So then they're parallel. This would be an angle of pi and this would be an angle of zero. Now, if they're pi over 2, the angle between the vectors is pi over 2, then you've got orthogonal vectors. And then maybe your vectors point something like this, then they're neither. So that's what we mean by parallel, orthogonal, or neither. Let's look at uh, the, the solution to this example. So just go ahead and find the angle between the planes. Well, the angle between the planes is the same as the angle between the normal vectors. So i got to get the normal vectors from these two planes, so n1, the first normal vector is going to be the components of x, y, and z, or the coefficients of x, y, and z. So 2, th negative 3, 1 for that first normal vector. 2, negative 3, 1. And then the second normal vector, n2, is going to equal negative 1, 1, 1. All right, so we got our two normal vectors. Let's go ahead and find the angle between those normal vectors. Well, cosine of theta is equal to the dot product of these two, n1 dot n2. So that's 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. 1 times 1 is 1. Over magnitude of the first normal vector. So that'd be 4 plus 9 plus 1 under the radical. And then the second one is square root of 3, or 1 plus 1 plus 1. So this is going to be, let's see, negative 5 plus 1 would be negative 4 over the square root of 14 times 3, which would be 51. Sorry, 41. This is our cosine of theta, so theta is going to equal arc cosine of negative 4 over square root of 41. And this is not equal to 0, it's not equal to pi, and it's not equal to pi over 2. So it's not parallel because it's not 0 over pi, and it's not orthogonal because it's not pi over 2. So these vectors are neither parallel nor orthogonal, so our planes are neither. So the planes are neither.